Um, all way. right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Um, I don't think she's on here. Raquel, biggest wins for the week. Like, I didn't know if you're going to call on me or not. So, um, well, I what I wrote in uh, was really just, I think, connecting the dots. I was delivering some programs in San Diego at a conference and then also to clients virtually. And, and I have, you know, a little bit of a, I, I live on the edges or margins of what I call corporate <laughs> life. And I'm a little bit thug in my style and, uh, you know, truth teller, kind of go for the jugular, say things that need to be said, but other people don't say it. And that's just my style. And, it, you know, it's good. And then it's bad. It doesn't always get me, <laughs> you know, um, win me friends, let's just say. But I feel like a lot of things happened this week that helped me to connect the dots and almost solidify that that is what I want to do, that I do want to be even more thug and really just, you know, I was selected as a reactor to this keynote speaker and I was able to call out stuff that other people just didn't see. They just didn't see it until I reacted and asked my question. And it helps to reinforce for me that I have a specific skill in, in doing that. And that those are the things that people do need to hear and that we do need to address. And so I decided I was going to shift a little bit like the offer that I had. I wanna embed things like diversity, equity, inclusion, not as a separate offering. That should be embedded in everything that I do. This notion of social just, justice needs to be embedded in everything that I do. It's a part of my values and what, um, matters to me, and it has to do with well-being and resilience and leadership and all of the things that I'm offering. And so I tested it because then I had a client meeting um, right after I said submitted this to you. I actually had a client meeting, and it was somebody who had hired me two times before. It already doubled my fee. And then I just, you know, when we talked, I was supposed to, we were talking about me going into doing something on well-being. And I said, listen, I've had a shift in kind of my approach. And I just want you to know this because um, I think this is really important to me. This is where my business is going. And I just threw down the gauntlet like on social justice and diversity, equity, inclusion, and how the leaders and directors who are going to be at that, at that conference are responsible for that. And I can't leave it out and feel good about it. And that... Um, and then she was so excited. She was like, this is exactly what we need. And then I threw the price out and I said, it's, it's double what it was. And she didn't seem to be um, thrown off by that at all. And I said, I know that's a lot for you. You guys are nonprofit. And what I want to do is instead of, you know, talking about lowering the price, I said, what I want to do is provide more value. If I'm already going to be there, let's find ways to provide more value and weave these concepts um, around social justice, around some of these things throughout that day versus just me going in to do a presentation. How can I add more value and make you feel like that is that is well worth it, right? It goes beyond like anything that you can even measure. And that seemed to resonate with her. So I felt really like this is, this is the direction I wanna go in. I know I'm not gonna win every client, but I'm gonna win the right clients and I'm gonna be able to create value way above and beyond just going in and doing a presentation, for example. So I think that was huge for me. I just feel much more um, solidified in the direction that I'm going in. For sure. I love it, Raquel. I'm so proud of you. That's super sick because like you should be polarizing. Every single one of you guys should be polarizing because if you're not, like that means that you're trying to be cool with everybody. And that means that like no one's going to really take you seriously and your message is going to be diluted. So guys, round of applause for Raquel for being a badass. <laughs> I don't know if you can see corals. She's just like so <laughs> Uh, but awesome. Yeah, let's go. Um, and it looks like Arno hopped on.